Hi guys, welcome to a new and updated video tutorial for Zontools. For today's video, we'll be starting off with automating your existing campaigns. First, how would we know if your campaigns are not automated yet? Under your max spend and max ACOS on your campaign level page, as you would see on your screen right now, you would see here unset unset for the campaign max spend and max ACOS. This means that you haven't automated your campaigns with Zontools. How are we going to automate your campaigns? First, we'll need to click on the dark green gears icon or rules configuration icon just under your campaign name. And now you would have your rules window. On your rules window, you'll be asked to enter or to input your target max ACOS, your relevancy sales, your minimum number of action clicks, your maximum keyword spend, minimum bid, your maximum bid, and your change rate percentage. Now, how would we know if we are entering the correct data for Zontools to work? That is now where our interactive threshold builder would come in. Simply click the dark gray button that says open threshold builder right here, and you will have our threshold builder window. Once again, you'll be asked to input data information based on your existing campaign or the product that is within your campaign. First is your product sale price or the average sale price for your campaigns or for your product within the campaigns. For this campaign that we are working on, the product sale price that I have is at $20.99. We have a profit margin of 40%. We will put in expected PPC profit at $0, or rather 0%, since we are running this campaign for traffic and visibility. As for our average CPC or average cost per click, on a regular campaign that has data, you will get this from your existing campaign. Norm, what you would do is to open up a new tab for the same campaign that you are automating. Make sure that you have your custom range date at set at 60 days since that is the default days or default time frame Zontools is looking at when running algorithms or when reviewing data for your account. So to get your average cost per click, again, set this to 60 days and get the average CPC from this column right here. It should show under spend and CPC, there will be two data in there. Spend will be the one on the topmost part and below that will be your CPC. Let's say the CPC for this campaign is at 0.30% or 0.30 cents. Now we'll go on to average CR or average conversion rate. Again, that will be the same thing. Open your new tab for the same campaign that you're automating and get your conversion rate. For conversion rate, make sure that you'll be getting the conversion rate 7 since we do have two datas for conversion rate. What we will use on our threshold builder is conversion rate 7 or CR7. And let's say our CR7 is at 5.60%. As for your bid change speed, we suggest and recommend to not touch the speed for the bid changes. That would stay at 20%. That's our recommended percentage as well. So just leave it as it is. And then for Threshold Builder to calculate the rules for you. Just click on Apply to see converted thresholds and it will automatically populate the blanks for your rules. So we now have all of your rules completed. Simply click on Save Rules and you have your campaign automated. As simple as that. I hope you guys learned a lot from this video. 